down power lines could keep millions of Americans in the dark long after the storm itself has passed. Already an army of power company workers are on their way from as far away as Oklahoma and Ohio. ABC's Dave Curley is in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware tonight. Dave, good evening. Good evening to you, David. And as these waves continue to crash in this direction, you are right. There is an army headed from the other direction. It's an army of utility workers. And if the predictions are right, these lights are going to be out and those workers are going to be extremely busy. The power was going out even before the full force of Sandy hit shore. But you see the fuse dangling? Larry Jackson knows the worst is still to come. We're probably working 16 hour days. Thousands of utility workers are in their trucks and headed east tonight to repair what are expected to be massive power outages. These beach vacationers packed up to head home inland. Actually, the aftermath is what we're concerned about. No power. Right. right, and for, for days. days. The power outages are expected to be widespread. It may take a long time not only to clear, but also to get, for example, uh, the power companies back in. During Hurricane Irene last year, about 6 million homes lost electricity. This researcher plugged in all the information into a new program, and he believes this will be worse. Our estimate at this point is 10 million. It could be higher, could be lower. 10 million or more without power for a week to 10 days which is why this Wisconsin company has added extra shifts, trying to build as many portable generators as quickly as possible. Officials worry that residents might misuse some of those generators, putting them indoors or stringing extension cords dangerously. Many seem to be heeding the warnings, checking off their list of preparedness, batteries, water, non-perishable food. I'm nervous about losing power. I'm nervous about the storm. Of course, the real worry here are trees that bring down these power lines. We all know not to touch the power line, but the experts say leave the limbs alone too. Just call the power company, David. Let them come and handle the entire thing. Looks like it could be really a mess later this week. All right, David Curley, great advice. Our thanks to you tonight.